I am an illegal gun owner, what some would call a deranged murderous criminal, and yeah, Democrats, who I usually vote for because I want to get out of parole easy, are proposing a whole slew of gun control laws, which means in order to, to get my guns, I have to start breaking laws. I mean, even more than the laws that I already broke. Hello, hello, it's Ghost in the Craig. Um, so I just wanted to, I just wanted to discuss some gun talk because I don't know, man. I, it's it's so unfortunate, you know. I I agree with Joe Rogan, where of course if you uh, uh, make guns illegal, it's just like having drugs be illegal because people are still gonna get them. There's still a dark web. There's still black market dealers. There's still all this shit and all these ways that you could probably get guns. Just you know, this is a water gun, but um, you know, there's still ways you can go about getting firearms that it's like. It wouldn't matter if it was illegal or not. I mean, states do have their way of having things, whether it's concealed carry or having a gun in your home or whatever. It, at the end of the day, it's all about protection, right? That's what it's always been about. I mean, yeah, some people get them because they think it's cool and they want to just, like, you know, own guns. But also, it's a form of protection, you know? It's used as self-defense, and some people live in areas that they don't, you know, they would feel more comfortable in if they had a weapon. I mean, the knives are the same thing, you know, brass knuckles could be even the same thing. I've, I've always just wished, I mean, if any weapon was just legal, it doesn't mean that everyone would start owning them. It just means that it would be easier for the people that want to own them responsibly would be able to have them now. I mean, obviously, you know, this school shooting that went on, it was horrible, all right? We had 19, it was like 19 dead, 19 students dead, two teachers dead. You know, there's nothing anyone can say that can justify the deaths of those kids and those teachers. There's nothing that anyone can say about guns or the gun laws or gun control that will justify the kids' deaths because someone went into the school of their own volition and shot up a school with no regard of human life. You can identify as whatever you want, but the person did not care whether, you know, these laws were legal or illegal. They just went in there guns blazing. So at the end of the day, if you make it illegal, it's just going to be illegal activity going on. Like, you know, an illegal school shooting because there shouldn't be a school shooting instead of it just being a school shooting. It's unfortunate either way, of course. I'm just saying it will change nothing. The, nothing will come but just upsetting Americans, like I said, who are responsible adults that want to use guns. Um, there was a story, like, just days after the shooting in Texas, where this woman shot this man who was opening fire into a crowd. Like, why would you... Again, all these arguments on Twitter and shit of, why would you own an AR-15? And it's like, look, I understand that maybe you don't need to have one, and you shouldn't have one if you don't have any business having one, fine. But for fuck's sake, if some dude just shows up out of nowhere and just starts shooting at a crowd of people, it is nice to be able to pull out a weapon and defend yourself and the people around you, which is what this woman did. This uh, Whoever this guy is, Dennis Butler, he was a 37-year-old... Um, uh, with, with 37 year old with extensive criminal history was killed after he targeted a group of around 40 people attending a birthday party bro that's a hard fuck you dog you can't be shooting up birthday parties like what like come on and it's not even your family <laughs> i mean fine you want to shoot your family fine that's on your accord again because that's something that is your business that's that's the person you could use a flamethrower or or I guess beat everyone with sticks. I'm not saying that it has to be a gun, obviously. It, it's just the point is that this fool decided to shoot up a birthday party. And then this woman, who happened to have a firearm on her, shot him dead. So he didn't, I don't think he killed anybody. But it's just like, bro. And he was armed with an AR-15. So again, that's why it, it's just, it's so funny how people can twist all these things and like you know you remember the during the whole BLM riots and stuff and that those that man and woman the family had the rifles and shit I mean that was 
fun. It was it was a meme. It was hilarious. It was, but it was true. I mean, there are people that live in areas where that's how they are. They are strapped because they live in an area where they're like, you know what? I don't want anyone coming to my house. And if it's le if you can legally carry those weapons and have those weapons in your state you're within your full right to defend your house however you wish and to flaunt your stuff however you like i mean shit man you don't like it don't live in texas you know but i it's, uh, it's just so crazy and you know it's funny because all these women can be out here saying that men don't need guns but shit i mean this was a woman that shot this guy you know this was a woman that had a, a concealed firearm that was you know enjoyed the the liberty of having a firearm and used it in an in an instance when it was life or death <laughs> not just her life but uh you know the whole fucking birthday party right so I just, I don't know what's really going on with all this changing of, of whatever, you know, our society decides to change laws on, you know, you don't, you can't carry, you can't carry open, you can't have an open carry rifle or gun, but you can like change your sex at like, you know, 10 and possibly have life altering uh, effects done to your body. But, you know, or, I mean, <laughs> there's a lot, you know, women can have abortions uh, as many times as you want. You can just have all the unprotected sex as you want, but we don't got to worry about AIDS, but motherfuckers can't carry guns. Like, <laughs> I mean, you know, protect, what, where else would the protection be for the women that are out having all the, all the fun sex and stuff? Shouldn't they have, be able to have a piece every once in a while so they can protect themselves from some crazy asshole out there that's trying to like attack or rape them? I mean, it's just an idea. Just an idea, ladies. I know you're all into the pepper spray and the and the the tasers and the and the then the brass knuckles or the ABS plastic knuckles. But you know what? It's always good to use. Uh, it's always good to use a good old smaller, maybe like snub thirty eight. You know, like maybe get a little snub thirty eight in the purse. You know, and a little blouse, in the side blouse pocket. Guy just comes up like, "What's up, girl? I'm trying to take you out." You just be like, "Nah, son." You know, I mean, I'm just saying, I'm not, but also ladies don't go like killing sprees now. We don't need any like, I know mean, it is always fucking men that end up going up shooting places for whatever reason, whether they're kids or adults. I don't know why, but thankfully women aren't, aren't shooting up places, but we don't need that either. So I'm not trying to promote that or anything. But anyway, y'all have a fantastic one. I just wanted to bring this up. I was like, I, you know, I just, I, it's just intriguing reading all the, you know, I'm pretty sure you can easily go on Twitter and read as much as you want or, or find enough videos and stuff on the news about people either for gun violence or against it. And it's like, at the end of the day, if someone comes at you with a gun or something and you don't have anything to protect yourself with, who are you, what are you going to do? You're going to call the police, so we can't really defend them fully, and they're going to come with their guns and hopefully protect you unless you just want them to fan, just to fan the criminal away. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, this has been Ghost in the Craig. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and uh, I will catch you guys on the flip side. Gun safety. I don't even have any guns, but I would be totally down to own one in the future. You know. But I like, I like fake guns and knives, so. Honestly, I haven't been this concerned about the new law since they put those gun-free zone signs up around schools, because here's the thing. Sometimes, the people I want to kill are near schools. It seems like these politicians don't even consider the adverse effect their policies will have on people's lives. Or on my ability to end their lives. <laughs> the only policy that sounds kinda cool is the buyback program. If they offer a lot of money for AR-15s, that could be pretty worthwhile. I'll sell them the ones I got. Then use the money to buy more guns illegally on black market. Then I'll go right on murdering. Look, in the end, while I'm still a little frustrated that these gun laws will be a minor inconvenience for murderous psychopaths like myself, I am grateful that they ultimately won't do anything to stop me from killing. And hopefully, if there are a few less good guys with guns out there, that could even make my job easier. <laughs> I'm completely fine with it. And what? It's Easter every day.